and welcome to another exciting edition of the premier league zone my name is anthony ajulu and this is your number one family radio station inspiration 92.3 fm yes it was a thrilling thrilling weekend of football uh, we saw in the premier league it was a show of the spoils at the etihad arsenal rose to the top of the table tottenham hotspur continue the malaise and of course chelsea showed that uh, we are back, we are back, doesn't mean anything. <laughs> the last thing my name, I'll say one more time. Anthony Ajulu is my name. The guys are all here with me. There's Bode Bruno. There's Triple who will attempt to put pull himself together uh, for today's show. And of course, Nicholas Ayamene also in the studio. Let me start with you, Nicholas. Nicholas, how are you doing this morning? Yeah, I'm great, Anthony. It uh, feels good, man. It was an exciting weekend. And um, uh, feels to go, uh, feels good to be on the side that did not lose. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. We will come to Triple last, actually. Let me go to Bode. Bode, how are you doing this morning? Oh well, um, if I'm to see what's on my <laughs> mind right now, <laughs> Tottenham was supposed to be born relegation. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm good, I'm good. Uh, Tupulo, okay. Tupulo, have you fully recovered? How are you doing? <laughs> How are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> have you recovered? Yeah, my mic is not on now. Your mic is on, don't worry. I can't hear my mic. So can we, we, can hear you. The listeners can hear you too. <laughs> you can hear me? Yes. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> and that's it. All right, I, I like the fact that I've been in brief. We'll come back to you in a bit, but let's just go on a break. Uh, when we come back, we'll get into the show properly. And of course, remember, you can join us as we'll review the phone lines and the WhatsApp portals after the short break. Welcome back to the show. Of course, you can reach us at any point on the show. 0700 923 923 923 is the number for you to call. You can send us messages on WhatsApp at 081 7313 is where to send your WhatsApp messages to. We're also live on Facebook at Inspiration FM 92.3. Um, like I always tell you, just leave your comments on the live feed. We read them on the show right so some early messages have come in let's just take this one first um this one here is from um, adams who says hope you had a great weekend i heard some people who went to st james's park for one thing <laughs> thank you eth for getting it right at everton do you see what happens when you use technically good players eric all hail alejandro um ganachos puskas where you go thank you very much actually it's alejandro hanacho Let's get it right, actually, because I, I I saw that uh, video, video of yeah. pronunciation. Mm. So it's Alejandro. The G is silent. Hanacho. There yeah, it's Hanacho. It's, it's Tomaj Tomaj Suchek. Tomaj Suchek. Tomaj. 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 First, make that JD guy show us love with credit card. He promised. I send him up go Congo Congo draw. Me and Body align with our predictions on two City versus Liverpool. Triple O is like Pochettino did inside the same WhatsApp group. Because what is this? <laughs> That's what we do. Thank you very much for that message. Uh, maybe. Looks like they're in the same WhatsApp group. Anyway, uh, keep the messages coming, keep the calls coming in, and uh, keep your Facebook comments coming in as well. But let's just um, read out the results from this weekend. It started on Saturday Skip lunchtime. Skip this. Um, <laughs> it was not the three love we always expect from Manchester City and Liverpool, but mm -hmm. it was a 1 1 draw. Uh, City scored first through Erling Haaland and then. Um, Alexander Arnold got the equalizer for Liverpool. Uh, Bombo 3 1 winners over Sheffield United, away from whom it must be said. Uh, Brighton and Hove Albion uh, 3 2 winners over Nottingham Forest. Newcastle hammered, battered, bruised, destroyed, dazed, annihilated. Whatever word you want to use, that's what they did to Chelsea. Condemned. It was condemned. There you go. Chelsea to a 4 1 defeat. Uh, that's how it was uh, in that one. Rich James got a red card there. Uh, Crystal Palace were beaten by Luton Town 2 1. Burnley were beaten at home by West Ham 2 1. Uh, Arsenal can be one new victory over Brentford on Sunday. Aston Villa 2 1 winners away at Tottenham Spurs. And of course, Manchester United 3 0 winners over Everton at Goodison Park. And later tonight, we're going to see Fulham taking on Wolverhampton Wanderers. So, um, there's only one place to start where it, it all happened. Um, let me go to the Chelsea fan. Let, let's please can you a, a soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you can you please and please and please tell us wait hold on first, just hold on. We'll get we'll get to that in a bit. Uh there's just something I want to but please can you tell us what went down or what went wrong for Chelsea in that humiliating, destructive, annihilative and um whatever word you want to do, you want to use defeat to uh, Newcastle at the weekend. Triple O, I'm coming to you. Please, can you tell us what happened in that game on Saturday? What have you been looking for since? Anthony. 
What are you Chief doing? Tell us what happened, please. <laughs> it was the uh, second half capitulation in that in in that encounter, uh, second half disaster, and um, eventually they lost focus from the start of the game. The physicality level wasn't there. It felt like they were not ready for that game. And uh, Newcastle United. Why am I? Why am I shall I? What, what is this? This is not our bed now. Actually, I don't know what that game now. I don't know. This is not our bed now. What is this now? What are you doing now? Analyze the game. Do your job. Analyze the game. What happened in that game at the weekend? God. How did that get here? Professor can decide who's the winner. I don't understand. How did that get here? Analyze. Analyze what happened. Anyways. Anyways. Um. Tactical, <laughs> tactical error. So the way you tell me I should be so there, but they want your own now. But they, but they stop the thing you're doing now. People, <laughs> carry on, carry on, carry on. <laughs> Anyways, um, tactical problem. Uh, this, the decision to play Ugochuku in the middle of the park because you wanted to uh, give some time to uh, Kaisido to rest did not go well uh, with the lineup. And again. <sighs> Sometimes you don't understand Chelsea. I mean, I'm tired. That side, that side was the side I was looking for. Yeah. That side, that side going <laughs> this outro. That, that side, side. is a side pressure. of defeat. It's a side of, of depression. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I'm not frustrated. But, 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 but the most serious note now. Um, what does this mean for Chelsea? Because I don't think I don't think it's it's beyond um black. It's beyond um hot and cold. I think it's beyond that because they've not really been that hot. Yes, it was a good performance against City, but they did not win. If you want to be really, really honest, you know, sentiment aside, mm. being a fan aside, mm. Chelsea has been extremely poor this okay. season. And games draws are uh they, they cover they cover the 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 wound, but they don't heal the Where wound. Where do they go from here? It's it's difficult because you can't even talk about you know making signings in January because mm. the team is even already over bloated. Some mm. injured players are coming back to the team, so every position is well stocked. So there's there's no there's no where you want to add a new player or that to. The problem for me is tactical. It is mentality. At first, Pochettino said he cancelled uh, uh, the 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 rest day today as the rest day for the Chelsea players. Then he gave them the rest day back. He said he was joking. He was he, he eventually gave. <laughs> You have to be harsh. No. We well, have to be I tough on these players. I know they are still very much young. You are asking kids to do the job of an adult. But yeah. guess what? Kids are the ones that play football now. We have 21 year old everywhere. We have 20 year Look at what the metro did. No, no, no. no. Uh, anyway, maybe. anyway, anyway. We want to see how everything unfolds for Chelsea. There's this thing yes. for Chelsea as well. Sorry to add this. It is area balls. They don't know how to defend area balls. They keep conceding goals from area balls. And this is a tactical problem. You right. cannot score against teams that have low block. You cannot, you know, defend area blocks. Come on. Anyway, um, that is uh, Triple Rose Lamentation. Lamentations. Uh, <laughs> plenty of problems at Chelsea. Anthony, don't do this let's, go to, let's go to people <laughs> that know how to do what they're doing. doing. <laughs> you just said you should not do it again. You should not do this again. <laughs> Let's go to the know what they are doing. Do but uh, it was 1 1 at the Etihad. Not the thriller we always see from these two teams. Yeah. It felt like they were afraid of each other at the end of the day. Maybe they didn't want to um, go all out and maybe cause an error at the back or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, share of the spoils favored us now. Oh, yeah, it did favor, uh, favor us now. But again, I might feel in some kind of way when people say, oh, it lacked the explosion and world of view. Mm. I think game could have easily been over in the first half. Mm. City were in control, they mm. missed a host of chances. Mm. Uh, we won't be saying the same thing if that was the case uh, over the weekend. But overall, you know, a, fair, a, a decent result. And I think out of the two, coach, uh, two coaches, Klopp will be actually Klopp excited be about the end of the day. Of um, City still have to come to Anfield and we know when City come calling. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're always too far from anyway. So um, at the end of the day, a decent, a decent uh, game overall. Mm. All right, decent game over all. Look at us. For United, though, um, like one of the messages said, um, Eric Hag looked like he finally got it right. And then what a goal from Alejandro Hanacho. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, um, uh, there's a debate that that goal has to be the goal of the season. But even though there are other goals here to come, but I think that that definitely for now be, it is actually yeah, it's a fantastic be, be, be goal. The number one goal uh, for Manchester United. Um, uh, a great victory, and um, also uh, it's good to see uh, you know the, uh, the should I say the togetherness between uh, Bruno Fernandes and uh, Marcus Rashford for that last penalty. Mm. It was absolutely you know good for Marcus Rashford to get his confidence back. You know, and um, uh, also kudos to Bruno Fernandes for giving him uh, that chance to do so. But at the end of the day, I think it's a good victory. And, um, but you know, um, like Roy Keane said, you know, I don't think this is time for them to celebrate. Yep. They're actually sixth on the table. Yep. Uh, they are up against uh, Galatasaray in Istanbul, the Champions League. I think this was just a momentum uh, that they need to keep going. Maybe this will spur them into uh, victory in the Champions League. But uh, at the end of the day, three new victory against everything. We are actually suffering from every other thing mm. on and off the pitch. They have issues. Uh, there were protesters at the uh, you know at the ground before yep. the game. There were a whole lot of things happening with Everton. So you would expect them to concede. And of course, uh, you know, uh, they lose to Manchester United. At the end of the day, I think Tenag has done you know well, and hopefully this will be the turning point for Manchester United. All right, we'll see if it's a turning and hopefully point. Hopefully they lose for United. United. That's all right. Enjoyed this video? Hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.